Hello, 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 and welcome to Formula 1 2015. We're going to do Bahrain round 4 in the Felipe Massa championship season. Last time out, we came second after a controversial takeout by the AI of Lewis Hamilton, which if you watch the video i get really uh, angry with because it was very close to the end so anyway here we go for the round four of bahrain Shouldn't have it too difficult. Welcome to Sakir for the start of the Bahrain Grand Prix. We hope you're ready for an exciting evening's action. The Williams of Felipe Massa starts from the front today. After a quite impressive qualifying run, you'd be wise to bet on him having the pace to fight for a victory. There are a lot of variables that can cause a driver to be happy with the car one day to struggling with it the next. Track temperature, excessive tyre wear or a change of fuel load can all affect the feel of a car. He'll definitely be hoping that when the race gets underway, he's got the same balance as he enjoyed in qualifying. It was a good win last time out for Lewis Hamilton, who will still be feeling buoyant going into today's race. He knows he's got the beating of the rest of the field as long as he doesn't hit any reliability issues with his Mercedes. Well, Lewis can beat anyone on his day. His pace has been second to none at times. He just has a knack of finding those extra tenths which others can't. I'm expecting him to be particularly strong at the end of the stints today. So as you can see, we're starting on pole here in Bahrain in front of Lewis Hamilton. And the lights are out and away we go. Can we get a good start along? Can we get a better start than Hamilton? Well, we've got, well, we've got the advantage. A bit deep into there and yep. We are in the lead out the first corner very convincingly. And Nico Rosberg has jumped. Ha Hamilton's dropped quite a few places. I think he's had a bit of a tap somewhere. But that's brought Rosberg and... Kimi Raikkonen up into the top three as we start to stretch our legs over Nico Rosberg. Hopefully, we can stay ahead as long as possible. We've already got two seconds over Rossberg. I might turn the engine down into lean. So it's like we're not pushing too hard. So change it to lean. Turn the engine down a bit. I know it's only the start of the race, but at least it allows us to save fuel for if we come under attack. Because then we can whack it into mix three just to open up that gap a bit. Then turn it down into standard in mix two. And as soon as the gap's opened up a bit, we can put it back into lean mix one. But even in lean mix one, we are getting quite a comfortable lead over Nico Rosberg. Just see him on the just seen him in the slight thing of the 
side mirrors there you go look you can see a slight a slight misshape in the background of a car in the wing mirrors if you look very closely that's why I don't have the speedometer on the side as well as the map because I like to use the wing mirrors to see where the uh, all the drivers are so it allows me to not only race fair and give them space but it also allows me to be able to time my defensive maneuver because even though on a game you can pull one one or more than one defensive maneuver but I like to keep it I like to drive to the realistic rules of Formula One where you can anyway where you can only make one defensive maneuver I like to try and keep it as uh, try and keep the rules as close to the real thing as possible even though you can do as many defensive maneuvers as you want I even do it online I'll only make one defensive maneuver or if I don't feel like I'm not going to be able to put much up of a fight then I'll just stick to my line and let the uh, oppon uh, oppon opposing driver through. Which, in all due respect, is not a bad idea because one, it doesn't ruin their race and two, it doesn't ruin your race. But having a quick look, uh, two seconds still, so we've still got to keep in the gap around about two seconds. And Vettel has now moved up to third. But at least our main championship rival, Hamilton, seemed to have had a bit of a problem coming out of the first corner and lost a significant amount of positions I don't know where he is but Raikkonen's got past Vettel again so Raikkonen's regained third uh, we're keeping a, two, a consistent two second gap to Nico Rosberg behind Yeah, keeping it very consistent around two seconds. As long as we keep it there, shouldn't be too hard. There you go, you can see Nico Rosberg in the mirror coming round the corner just a moment ago. Hopefully we can bounce back from our disappointments in China after getting a I would say an unfortunate yet deliberate nudge by an aggressive AI gap down to a second now so Rosberg has got the advantage on us towards the final sector but sectors one and two I reckon we've got the advantage over him because in that last sector he seems to have taken a bit out of us yeah we got the advantage on him going around about the first sector but other than that I think unless it's because we've got a lower engine mode than he has and he's trying to shrink in the gap which is most likely what he is doing try and keep it to the racing line as much as I can but also use my own racing line as well sometimes having a, my own independent racing line sometimes depending on the situation like in Sochi I like to go wide round turn three to try and get as much momentum going into turn four to try and 
squeeze somebody down the inside going into turn four at Sochi everyone's got their own own lines as well as the standard racing line everyone's different everyone has their own driving style as well sometimes sometimes I, I seem to switch between an aggressive style when I'm having to defend then when I'm comfortably in front I seem to have a calm relaxed driving style Looks like we're going to be pitting, and I bet Rosberg is going to pit as well. But like I say at the moment, because I'm not under any pressure, I'm having a quite... You can see I've got a, a quite smooth, relaxed driving style going off. And, some, and if we end up attacking someone or getting under pressure from somebody else, you will see that slightly changed to a more aggressive whenever we get the opportunity to overtake someone but Nico Rosberg still keeping in contact with us I'm guessing the gap is still at a second We'll find out in a moment or so. Shut up, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing that annoys you. You know you you know your racing plan yet you got your bloody uh, chief engineer over the radio to you saying box 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 and stuff like that anyway we're in and Rosberg's gone through so Rosberg's not pitting yet uh, Raikkonen's pitted Bottas has actually Raikkonen's gone through Bottas has gone through Vettel's pitted NASA's gone through. Uh, Perez has gone through. The third place from Sochi yesterday in the Formula One Grand Prix. And we've come out in sixth just ahead of Kvyat. Bit wide through there. I know. I wish you could turn your team radios off. In terms of fuel, we're now at about 75% of our starting load. 75% fuel remaining. Got um, DRS on Perez, but we're not close enough to get a move on him. But we've got a good momentum going out that corner, so we can probably squeeze him. Yeah, there we go, nice and down the inside. Like a knife through butter. Smooth as you like. Hopefully our outlap is good enough to retain the lead from Rosberg. If not, we've got a bit of attacking to do, which shouldn't be too difficult. Let's keep an eye on the positions. Fourth, third, second. Yep, we've retained the lead and I've missed the breaking point. Missed the breaking point, but still gathered it. And we've come out comfortably ahead of the Mercedes of Nico Rosberg. very comfortable yeah the gaps two seconds so 
managed to make on the pit stops so that's not too bad no need to uh, turn the engine up though because the gaps reasonably comfortable no need to push either I might just settle the mood down a bit. Three second gap between me and Rosberg and also a three second gap between Rosberg and Kimi. But we are um, just going to take it nice and calmly because there's no rush. Got a reasonable gap to Rosberg so don't need to push as hard so we can just keep it nice and smooth a bit wide through there no need to uh, get any get ver get Larry at the moment just keep it nice and calm nice and smooth So now we've just been told that Rosberg is on standard rev, so he's looking to shrink the gap. He's got it down to about just under two seconds. Um, I know we don't really have to do a fuel save mode, but I can't see the point in pushing it till Rosberg gets in close. Oh, got and can we undercut him? We get the undercut? No, we can't. Nico Rosberg's through. So now we've got a fight on our end. And we ain't got DRS, but he has. So. Late breaking. And simple as that got through. Yes, we have. Nice and tidy. Do a Lewis Hamilton late as l break as late as possible. And he's coming at us again. I ain't, I'm going to keep the line run a bit wide but keep the momentum in front so not going to turn the engine, engine up just yet might turn it up nearer to the end just to make the wind more comfortable but Keep an eye on Rosberg in the mirrors. He's got standard rev, so he's gonna try and take us, but yet again, keep on the line, make him fight for it. Keep an eye on my mirrors, see where he is. Now we've got to look in the left mirror because he's on our left side. And keep an eye on the braking points as well. He, sh he should get us down here because he'll have DRS. But because we, wait, cause we end up braking way later than him, we should have a... A clean advantage and we do and he's still not close enough to try and get us down the inside um, keeping on the mirrors and my breaking points doing two things at once
bit wide through there out of that corner. So much happened further up the track, we'll find out sooner or later. And Rosberg trying to squeeze us down the inside. I kind of braked a little bit later, but oh, oh dear, all hell's broken loose. And we've been given a penalty because for no apparent reason a wounded Fernando Alonso ends up getting in our way. We were on the racing line. Yeah, we were on the inside. Uh, Fernando Alonso, if you see, even though he's quite wounded, he uh, came straight in front of us to give Rosberg space to come past not knowing we were there and I think Fernando Alonso has cost us a victory but we've also got a five second penalty for no reason whatsoever in my opinion because we had a wounded car in the way Get Kimi Raikkonen down the inside, so me aggressive driving style is quite. And Kimi's tapped us. Oh, Kimi, 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 Kimi. The AI strikes again. This time it's the AI of Kimi Raikkonen. We have been struck twice in this race. And I just literally got no words for it. So that's practically screwed us out of a podium as well. And it's looking to be a dismal race. Now, I mean, all we can do now is hope for the best that we can catch up, that we can get a reasonable gap over Ricardo so we at least retain fourth place or we'll end up having to forfeit a few places towards the end. But yeah, it's all gone, tis was, all over again. Fighting Rosberg for the lead and for, uh, wounded Fernando Alonso comes straight, literally drives near enough into us trying to get out of the way of Nico Rosberg, not giving a crap that we were there. And then again, coming through this corner, staying on the line and Kimi tries and stays on the line as well the AI I swear has a magnet to the racing line it gives you no space at all you have to do all the work yourself and it's cost us a decent result but at least we're still going to be in the points so keep our championship charge going but we might have to forfeit at least a position to Rosberg we'll keep the lead over Hamilton here we go final lap and we're chasing down Rosberg and we've just set the fastest lap a 135.9 135.9 going into the final lap. Two seconds faster than Ricardo. We have to be because we need to open up the gap to over five seconds to make sure fourth place is comfortable. We ain't going to get third even if we pass uh, Bottas 
because the gap will not be big enough to secure it so fourth place is as best as we're gonna get which I'm absolutely even though I don't sound it I am literally swearing inside my head right now because of that five second penalty for literally very little reason and then to top it off the AI strikes again like it did in China we might as well stay put behind behind Bottas but Rosberg wins we're going to stay put behind Bottas because we might as well not take him because we ain't going to get third anyway so we might as well stick behind him and finish the race in fourth and I feel like absolutely kicking myself for that because that is as harsh as it's going to get. So a great drive today from Nico Rosberg, and I'm sure the Mercedes garage will be celebrating that win long into the night. What and due to and our mishaps, That's it for today's Grand Prix and we end up giving Ferrari next time. Uh, their second place, which should have been third. But the plus points are that Valtteri Bottas is up there on the podium for Williams, so that's at least the plus side but other than that f probably the biggest losers in that race has to be me and Lewis Hamilton because Hamilton came seventh from second and we came fourth from first so there we go we get leapfrogged by Rosberg in the drivers and so does Hamilton, so we've seven points behind Rosberg now in the championship. Vettel stays put fourth. Um, Bottas moves up to seventh from ninth after that podium finish. Grosjean moves down. Kimi and Verstappen drop. And yeah, so Rosberg now takes the lead. And in the constructors, Mercedes stay top. Uh, their lead is now at 46 uh, Red Bull, Leapfrog, Lotus and everywhere else stays the same but there's not much you can do when the AI is like that but that was round 4 Bahrain of the Felipe Massa Formula One Dry Formula One Championship season and I'll see all of you in the next one. Have a nice day.